Hi ladies, it's CT here and you're welcome back to another video on the self-care upgrade. Today I'm sharing a Valentine's inspired nighttime pamper routine that is dedicated to you. This is a reminder to give yourself a little extra time, love and care always, but especially in this season because you deserve it. I started by setting the mood in the bathroom with some candles and music and then I went in with my dry brush all over my body focusing it on the areas that I wanted to shave Then after that I went in with this Veet gel cream and I applied it to my underarms, my legs, my arms and my bikini area. I also grabbed the Tatcha the Dip Cleanse Facial Cleanser and I applied it to my face and neck. This cleanser has little exfoliating beads so I left it on as a little exfoliating mask until I got into the shower. I rinsed off the facial cleanser and the gel cream in the shower and the gel cream always does a really good job at getting rid of all my hairs. For cleanser today I grabbed this Salt Hair Serum Body Wash. I was actually drawn to this cleanser in Target because of the packaging but then I started reading up on the ingredients and I saw that it has niacinamide in it which helps brighten and even the complexion so I was immediately sold and I got home and I paired it with my African Net sponge and I just really liked how well it lathered and the scent was amazing as well. So so far so good, I'm still trying it out. And then I went in with my Always Cleanse Sensitive Wash. I planned on running myself a little bath so first thing I did was to clean off the bathtub and then I started prepping and setting the mood for my bath. I'm not a huge fan of having a glass of wine with me while I'm sitting inside the bath but I will pour myself a nice glass and sip on it every now and then while the water is filling up. So that's what I did. I also grabbed the Soap and Glory Speed Plump Hydrogel Sheet Mask. I thought this would be great to have on my face while sitting in the bath to help hydrate and plump my skin. For my bath, I used the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath. This is the Soothe and Sleep with the Lavender Scent and I just followed up with the matching bath salt as well. And then I grabbed my little bath tray, lit myself a candle and grabbed a small fruit bowl. Let's talk about dry brushing really quick in case you are wondering why I went in first with a dry brush before my hair removal. So dry brushing is a great exfoliation technique that helps exfoliate the whole body but I specifically like doing it before I shave or remove hair on my body because it helps to soften up my skin and it helps prevent and treat any ingrown hairs. When I'm sitting in the bath, I usually just like to have my eyes closed listening to some relaxing music. My lights are usually off with just the candle beaming through and I sit in there for about 25 minutes. Then once I'm done, I drain the bath, I rinse off and I go in one more time with my feminine wash. To finish up my facial skincare, I grabbed my Tatcha water cream as my nighttime moisturizer and the eCosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream as my eye cream. I'm also using the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution on a cotton pad and I'm running that on my armpits and areas on my body where I'm trying to treat discoloration and darkness. I did try this on my bikini area and I got some irritation so I do not recommend that. But if you've tried it there and it worked for you, definitely let us know. And then I'm grabbing my Buff Experts Body Exfoliating Pad and I'm running that on my bikini area to treat ingrown hairs and prevent ingrown hairs some more. And then for deodorant, I grabbed my Dove Dry Spray in the scent Lavender Fresh. I've also seemed to enjoy most of the products I've tried out from the Tara J.P. Henson Body Care line. This Watch Me Whip Body Lotion, I thought it was perfect for tonight. It has a warm vanilla scent and also has niacinamide in it. So I actually mixed it in with my bio oil and I rubbed that all over my body and it just gave the perfect glow. Like this was a match made in heaven. And my skin just looks really, really bright and glowy. I don't know if it was just me, but something about my skin just looks different that night. 
To finish up my lips, I grabbed this lip mask from ColourPop. I usually tend to have some sort of lip mask, lip balm, lip oil on my lips all the time, all through the day, just to keep them looking and feeling soft. And then for perfume, I grabbed this Miss Dior perfume. This perfume has a feminine, fresh, floral scent. Um, it is a little bit on the bold side, so I tend not to wear it as much at night because I prefer softer scents, but I thought tonight was a good night to wear this one. And then I also grabbed this Aveeno foot mask for my feet just to add a little extra hydration and pampering, and I left it on for about 10 minutes. I don't know if you guys can tell but at this point I was actually starting to feel really good there's just something uplifting about taking time to just take care of yourself your body your mental state and just being in that zone I like a little honesty with you guys I did not want to film this video today I wasn't having the best day but I just reminded myself I was like even just doing the pamper routine will make me feel better that was my motivation to actually go ahead and get it done and I'm so glad that I did because I felt a hundred times better after taking off the foot mask my feet felt so soft honestly my entire body from head to toe felt so soft and so relaxed but I was definitely hungry luckily I had made some dinner before hopping into the shower earlier so here I'm just showing you guys some clips of how I put it together another one of my self-care outlets is going out to eat but I've been trying to recreate restaurant experiences at home and this was one of my attempts to do so and I liked how everything came together so I really hope this inspires you to take some time out for yourself to show yourself some extra love and care in this season regardless of your relationship status. I think everyone deserves this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.